Well, we start the off season talking about the big ticket items. That is the most fun. JP Morosi, good morning to you. Our first stop is at third base. You know where I'm going with this. Matt Chapman is expected to be one of the most sought after. What is the market for him? Fake November. News. No, it's not fake news. It's real news. It's the first topic of conversation. You just mind your own. <laughs> November 14th, JP. Good morning. Yes, good morning, him. Lauren. Uh, Matt Chapman is indeed one of the top free agent hitters available, and he was, according to Bob Nightingale, there at the GM meetings last week, meeting in person with general managers. How about that detail? And one thing that stands out to me is the familiarity with the San Francisco Giants and their new manager, Bob Melvin. Yes, of course, Bob Melvin managed Matt Chapman in Oakland. The Giants looking for some more offensive consistency in the middle of the lineup. But here is the, the part of the argument, Lauren, that Matt Chapman and his representatives will have to find a way to speak about uh, with teams. Was that the, the really sharp drop off in his production after the early part of May? Around the early part of May, he was looking like an MVP candidate. We know how great he is defensively. But but as long as that offense picks up and stabilizes somewhere between where he started and where he finished, I do expect there to be a very healthy market. He, of course, is a West Coast guy originally mm. from Southern California. I could see the Giants, the Diamondbacks as well. We know they want to find a third baseman. Of course, Evan Longoria, a free agent now. So some strong West Coast interest in Matt Chapman wow. this offseason. Yeah, he was hotter than hot coming out of the gate. His fourth gold glove at 30 years old. Reese Hoskins in his age 30 season as well. When we heard, JP, last week, Dave Dombrowski saying Bryce Harper is going to play play first base. We all kind of thought in our mind, what does that mean for Reese Hoskins and his future? What's your answer to that? Well, Lauren, it's a really interesting question and a point that Maddie made yesterday about Cody Bellinger and, and how maybe if the Cubs had had saw that longer term relationship right away, maybe they would still have him and not, not have to worry about going back into the market. Well, with Reese Hoskins, it's the same thing now. And interestingly, the Athletic has reported that the Cubs, the very same Cubs, that signed Cody Bellinger a year ago are now interested in Reese Hoskins. And if they pursue Reese Hoskins, maybe they find a way to get to the multi-year deal because yes, he missed all of 2023 with that injury. Uh, would he have been available for the World Series had the Phillies made it? Perhaps. But up until that year, you look at what he did in 2022, and he played in 156 games. So up until that career-ending or the, the season-ending injury, rather, it was it was just that there was a very consistent level of productivity and being there every single year. So I would say, Lauren, you have to look at the body of work for Reese Hoskins. Yes, there was the season-ending injury for him this year, but you got to look at what he did up until then. A very consistent player, 156 games in 2022, 30 home runs that year. You got to go with what he did up until then and not be too swayed by the platform year. So I side there with Matty V. Look at the multi-year deal for Reese Hoskins. Oh, and I love what you said there. I would imagine he's ahead of schedule in his recovery because we kept hearing he was ramping up for a potential World Series return. If the Phillies did get there just a couple weeks ago, we're still trying to place all the managers. San Diego is the lone vacancy. We keep hearing San Diego will have their man and soon when is soon and who is their man jp morosi lauren I, I would expect the next uh, 24 to 48 hours so keep okay. everybody on uh, on standby oh for my potential gosh, press matt. conferences matt. matt and harold you gotta hang in there my friends there, there may be more press conferences this week in the middle of the day sorry everyone but it, it does seem like the the, the padres are, are rounding into that group they've got at least four candidates we talked about them before uh, ryan flaherty mike schilt the two internal guys benji keel and phil Nevin. I was told yesterday Phil Nevin among the finalists. So yes, Matt, Harold, Lauren, you too. We've all got to stand by. Uh, they had at one point in time spoken with Carlos Mendoza. He, of course, is the new manager of the Mets. That press conference is today. The Padres press conference, my friends, probably will be sometime this week. In the words of Matt, he loves breaking news. Just after what time, Matt? 1 p.m. Eastern yes. time. Then I hate this time of year. Break away. JP Rosie, thank you so much. Thanks. Appreciate it.